What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the Uncommon Sense Family Clan. It's your man Uncommon Sense here. On this channel we talk about all things fragrance, fashion, health, beauty, well-being. And I'm coming at you today with some rack store finds or self-care. I want you guys to do me a favor. If you are new to the channel, take a look around at the content. And once you've decided that this is the place for you to be, and it is. I want you to make sure you do all three like this blinking sign says. We want to like, comment, and subscribe. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. Welcome back. I really appreciate you guys for being in and a part of the Uncommon Sense Family Clan. So what I wanted to do to bring you up to speed and show you some of my self-care products that I found for the low. Fellas, listen, self-care is for us. Moisturizing your skin and making sure you're the best you can be, that's for us too. So make sure you're not neglecting yourself and leaving any stones unturned. Because like Oprah says, sooner or later, your eyes will bag and your breasts will sag. So let's do everything we can to combat that and make sure that we're taking the best care of ourselves as possible, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and get into this thing. I wanna show you guys this eye mask that I got. It has these beads in here. Put this in the freezer and when you get ready to go to bed, pat out. Strap that on so you can get you a good night's sleep. Rest your weary eyes. Boom. And that's how that works, right? I paid $6 for this when I was doing my rack store finds shopping. And I uncovered a fragrance. You guys have to check that video out. That comes out soon. Being a man of color, I have combination skin. Sometimes in some places it's dry. In other places it's oily. So I got to keep all of that in consideration with cleansing making sure you're not over drying or anything like that because since i am a fuller face gentleman i have smile lines even under my eyes upside down side right so i usually do a lot of products that make sure that i keep this part moisturized because i usually get dry up in here sometimes in the mustache too speaking of which Blackstone Moisturizer Refresh, Sandalwood Scent. It's a lightweight moisturizer that's non-greasy, works to rehydrate skin throughout the day without leaving a greasy residue. Formulated with hyaluronic acid, peppermint, shea, and vitamin E for all skin types. Initially, the scent of it I wasn't the biggest fan of because it kind of smells more or less mineral-like. It's not the sandalwood that I'm used to, but I usually do not put scented products on the face, and I don't. But I do use it for the beard because I feel like it gives it a nice manageable sheen while keeping it from being too brittle and dry. Because I can tell when my beard is getting dry because I can do like this and I can feel the hair snapping. But I rub this on the skin in the beard only because scented products tend to irritate my skin. So keep that in mind. Scented products use that now for the face. Look at this price. $3.99, you can't beat it. So if you guys see this in your rack stores, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Ross, etc., give it a shot. It says apply to face and neck after cleansing, use morning and night. I would do probably beard and neck for the simple fact to combat against the hyperpigmentation we can get from shaving and the constant friction. It would be good for the beard and down. That's what I use it for. Speaking of which, another thing for men of color and those who have ethnic, curly, coily hair, one thing you're probably going to need to invest in, good brand of tweezer. I saw these. I initially thought they were toenail clippers, but once I figured out, I was like, okay, these are tweezers. For the simple fact that having curly or ethnic hair, you get ingrowns. I know I do every now and again, and it is one of the most irritating and painful things, not to mention unsightly. So get you a good pair of tweezers. Tweezer Man has some as well. We're gonna leave those there because they can be a little expensive, but these have always brought me luck. 
After a while, tweezers will get dull. You need to make sure that the points stay sharp so that you can grab the hair and pop it right on out. Even if you're not plucking the hair completely out, getting it from growing back inside the follicle is going to be imperative. In addition to keeping your clippers clean and oiled. Okay? Okay. Going back on up to the eyes, I ran across this and I do know that making sure that we have moisture in this area here is important. I know I'm a workaholic and I don't want to sacrifice my good looks for getting shit done. So I saw these. You got collagen and charcoal in them, specifically formulated for men. And after cleansing, pop these bad boys right on underneath the eyes. They kind of provide a light cooling effect and a moisturizer effect and that's what we want to make sure we get and maintain pay four bucks for these bad boys and as you can hear i'm running low i don't know if i'm going to be able to find these again but i'm going to see if i can because i got them for a good price last but not least got us a retinol eye serum by the nobleman i just gave this a shot and i remember talking to i think it was lulu when we were talking and she was saying you need to make sure that you get a, a cream with retinol to ensure that you keep your moisture. So this is a retinol eye serum again under the eyes. That's one of my places where I give a lot of attention to, partially because all that all of I hold a lot of my attention in the forehead and in the eye area. So I need to make sure I keep those areas moisturized. We want to ensure that we're staying moisturized to keep the baby face thing going on. You know what I mean? So this is gonna come in handy when I'm 60 and 75 years old, people are still gonna be thinking I'm 40. So I like that. <laughs> I wanna keep that going, but also putting our best face forward. That's what we always wanna do. Those are the products I actually came up with on my most recent rack store expedition. If you guys see these products around, I would definitely say give them a try because they've always brought me luck. This video is not sponsored. These are just things I want to let you guys know to give a shot if you see them in your rack stores, because usually, those areas get forgotten especially for men because we we usually have been trained or conditioned to not worry about that type of stuff but i'm here to tell you fellas make sure that you take care of your damn self and everything else will take care of itself the best thing you can do is take care of yourself that's one of our first rules in self-preservation charity starts at home and if your house ain't in order aka you how in the hell are you gonna be any earthly good to any and everybody else it's been your man Uncommon Sense, and I'm out of here. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, all the way around. And I'm out. Till next time. All right.